Our sponsor is Swag Bucks, a great way to earn some extra cash for free. I've tried it myself and it actually works. All you do is go online, you take some surveys, you can watch videos and play games and you earn Swag Bucks. Redeem your Swag Bucks for free gift cards and even cash gift cards. Click the link in the description and get a $5 sign up bonus. Toei has been handing out pamphlets for the Dragon Ball Super movie and on the back of the pamphlet we actually get the silhouette for the Saiyan villain confirming there that he has a tail and he is a Saiyan but I think that was pretty obvious as we knew so far but the interesting thing is it looks like he is frozen in ice is the new Saiyan frozen on earth in some kind of ice cap that he gets say it's a hot sunny day you see the sunshine from the trailer and then maybe Maybe the ice melts and somehow he is alive. So this guy could be an ancient Saiyan that somehow made it to Earth a very long time ago, possibly with the legendary form. And then maybe he's just been frozen in time. Maybe he came during the uh, the Ice Age. You know, maybe he was the one that wiped out the dinosaurs, or he was there when there was dinosaurs and he got frozen in the Ice Age and it's gonna melt and he's gonna come back alive. That could be a possible plot to this movie. Now, in the fan film that I did for the movie, my theory was that since Android 17 wished back all of the universes, he would have wished back universes 13 through 18, and that this guy could have been from one of those six erased universes if they were revived from the wish of the Super Dragon Balls. But... I don't think that the writers are going to go that deep. Now, this story is written by Akira Toriyama. It, he could potentially use that, but honestly, I think that that was like one sentence said a very long time ago. And sometimes they forget about stuff they've said before. They didn't forget about uh, Mastery of Self-Movement or they renamed it Ultra Instinct. That was a little line that they dropped in a very long time ago and they decided to bring an entire new form out of that. So I could be wrong there, but this image, unless they're just trying to hide what he looks like that could also just be a possibility maybe they don't want to spoil it yet but it looks like he's frozen in an ice cap I mean that's the vibe that I'm getting the quote the text on there on the back of the pamphlet doesn't say anything different it's a quote from Akira Toriyama the one that we've all made videos on that we've been talking about before so that's nothing new there but this image this silhouette is brand new and I guess the real question is if he was frozen in time which could potentially make some sense and somehow the ice cap melts and he's alive again with potentially maybe an entire fleet of other saiyans like from the dragon ball legends game um how can he beat goku now maybe they told us goku can't get ultra instinct anymore at the end of dragon ball super so that this guy will actually stand a chance but if goku does have ultra instinct there is absolutely no way that this guy can win unless he has ultra instinct himself now my opinion what i think is going to happen is that he's going to be super powerful he's probably going to have legendary form and i think goku's going to go blue kaioken times 20 and he's going to lose he's going to get severely beaten up and at the end end of the movie Goku is going to turn into Ultra Instinct because he's going to break his shell and he's going to defeat the guy and he's going to win and honestly that's pretty cookie cutter but it would give us the excuse to see Ultra Instinct again which is something that everybody wants to see again and we're all just left scratching our heads as to why they would drop that nugget in there in the end of Dragon Ball Super and say oh I can't do it anymore like you only built up to Ultra Instinct for an entire year and now you're just going to say you can't do it anymore like no it's definitely going to come back and I think that Goku is going to turn into Ultra Instinct in order to beat this villain. Now it does kind of add up and make sense that if these guys are ancient, you know, they would have come a very long time ago and got frozen and you know, now they get dethawed and now they're alive again. At least one guy. I think it would be awesome though if there was an entire fleet of Saiyans or at least it could be some like 5 vs 5 kind of like a Saiyan Saga 2.0 like if this guy came to Earth with his comrades and uh, he got frozen in the Ice Age and now it's up to Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Gohan and whoever else to battle these guys in the movie. I think it'd be really cool but I don't think those Saiyans would stand a freaking chance. I mean the power level of Saiyans was like a few thousand maybe and uh, those guys are you know they're absolutely nothing unless 
unless Saiyan's powers got diluted through the age or something. There's, there's got to be some explanation for why they're so freaking strong. But then again, <laughs> the universe six Saiyans were absurdly strong. And uh, I mean, you know, it's they could pretty much do whatever the heck they want to do uh, in Dragon Ball Super. So there's also a lot of fake art that's flying around lately. And there's a lot of concept art that people are throwing off as real, uh, which is not true. We do not have a real image yet for the new villain. Okay, so it is the best image we have is the silhouette and what we've seen from the trailer. I know a lot of people have used my video as clickbait and, and false information as well. I tried to put a disclaimer in there in my video that none of that was real. It's all fan made and just theory. But uh, anyways, this image in particular has been floating around a lot and this is not real. That's pretty much it, guys. I think they're just frozen in ice. They're going to get dethawed. They're going to come out. Goku's going to fight them. And uh, the real question is, how can they even stand a sliver of a chance against Goku and Vegeta and the rest of the crew? Let me know your thoughts below in the comments section, guys. And as soon as we get any more info, obviously, I will make a video on it right away to let you know. I'm sure we're going to start getting info in a real image of this character, honestly, any day now. I think we're going to get the image reveal of him literally any day. So make sure you got those notifications enabled, and I'll be talking to you tomorrow.